Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to uh, the channel. I've got the tundra out today. This is, uh, fingers crossed, it's going to be successful. Um, I did take it up for a bit of a test and had a disastrous stall and it's, it's hurt the front of it and it's uh, all been patched up and, and running again and I've flown it again since. Um, it's missing some of the landing gear which I lost when it came down but I don't think that'll I don't think that will um, affect it too much. We'll see anyway. Uh, I had a couple of issues with it with it uh, increasing in altitude, which I think it was due to the calibration. So I just want to test that. I don't want to go too too far with it and too long with it. I'm just going to do a bit of a, a short flight, I think, just to get a feel for it and just to see what it's going to do before we do anything else. So fingers crossed and we'll see how we go. I've got uh, I've got the I've got Mission Planner hooked up uh, through the wireless telemetry, uh, so hopefully that'll give me some hints on how we're going. So I'm just letting everything boot up at the moment, so we'll um, take off in a minute. very hard to see the laptop here but anyway <clears throat> money flying line aside of course so I'm not going to be doing anything silly I had some damage done to this uh, to the fuselage in the crash it's bust to the back here which I've fixed everything is okay but I do plan to replace the flute fuselage again and get it looking fresh once I've got it sorted out and flying well so, to be honest, another crash that doesn't really particularly worry me too much. Hopefully not though, and we can at least uh, get it up in the air and down safely, so let's just see how we go. Grass has all been fully cut. So I plan to um, eventually put a camera on this. I'm not going to put an FPV camera on it. So what I think I'll do, I think I'll buy a, um, it's like a run cam or a Foxy camera just to mount an attachable camera I can put on to the top of the plane so we can get some footage and I'll, I should be able to link up telemetry through mission planner logs as well. So that should look good while we're flying. I'm not sure why it, it just flicked into return to home, so I'm not sure whether it's 
because of the battery I'm using running too low a voltage I'll have to investigate that um, scary thing is at the moment I can't I can't lower the throttle I've got to, I'm going to have to put it into uh, position hold and then back into normal and that should click it out of return to home other than that the plane's flying very smoothly it's nice and slow it's stable a um, little bit of wind up here but other than that it's it's I'm quite impressed with it Yeah, and there you go we just I just flicked it out of <coughs> out of return to home we're back in I've got full control again now Phew. But at the moment, the plane's flying nicely. It's um, it's a little bit twitchy when I turn to the right, uh, but other than that, it's pretty good. It All right, we'll bring it in for a landing, so. <laughs> Not the greatest landing, but it's down. Not bad. It's got a few little bugs to it, but... Um, it flicked into return to home for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I pulled it into uh, loiter and it got it out of that. But other than that, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. See if we can taxi it back over. we have taken off. Not bad. I've got to go. I've got to fix the landing gear on it. I'll just see what battery levels we've got after that little flight there. But no, no, I'm not too bad, you know. Quite happy with that. I don't know why I went into return to return to home. Not too sure about that. Had me worried for a minute because I couldn't reduce the throttle. But um, flick it into position hold and that helped it. So it was showing no data for 82 seconds. No, getting low on battery, 10.64 volts. Warning, no data for 87 so, seconds. let me just shut this up. Warning, no. Shush. All right, so it's running a 2,200 milliamp battery. Nothing too special. Um, I guess it gave it a what, five to 10 minute flight then. Um, yeah, other than that, it's pretty good. I got a bit of a strong headwind but it's a very slow flyer it, it handled it pretty good it's only running 3 3s it can run 4s so i don't know whether that would have been better option i'm not sure but yeah other than that yeah it's good so far so good successful third maiden i guess you can i guess you can say Hope you enjoy that guys, that's about it for the Tundra, we'll get get some more of that in the air, uh, a few little things i still got to sort out with it, but other than that it seems pretty good, um, and we'll get up in the air again for you to have a look at in not too distant future. Until then guys, stay safe, keep flying, and bye for now.